What's up, guys? It's me again. This time, he's on a different camera. Um, I'm just going for a more seeing what we've got. I'm still rocking the Harashis. They look sick. Um, it's just like a little compact camera we've got. It's actually got really good quality on it, and it's like really decent. Um, I'll show you. Wait, am I not really. I haven't really got anything to show you. But what I'm going to do now is just talk to you about my um, uh, creatine take, um, dosing and that. Um, or say dosing, it's just like how and when I take it. Um, I have ways that I like to take and everything. Um, but as I told you, I was uploading that video um, previously. There it is. Uploaded, so go and watch it, go check it out. Get other people to like it. It's my username, it's Jesse Bell. Um, you need to go on there, I think it might come up if you type in JB Fitness. Um, that's my email address jbfitness.jb at gmail.com. So if you used to put that in, that's what, or if you used to email me, feel free to email me. I like, I'd want to hear from some of you guys soon, but anyway, into the video. What it is, the creatine I take is just simple creatine monohydrate, which is muscle and strength, my protein one, creatine monohydrate, unflavoured, it's a whole kilo here. I bought this kilo of creatine for £11.29. The next day funny thing is, the next day, it went on sale for £7. But £4 savings, not pretty much, is it? What's it going to buy me? A four cans of Monster? So, yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, it says suggested use here, add five grams of water, uh, add five grams to water, uh, shake and consume, use one to two times a daily, um, direct before and after exercise, after eight weeks continued use, take one week off and start the cycle again. Personally, I do not see the point in um, cycling on creatine, it doesn't make a difference, it's not going to harm you. How can a substance that is produced in your pancreas harm you? So. That's, that's another thing that I've got to talk about in this video. I might do it now. Um, people I talk to about creatine, they always turn around and go, yeah, why would you want to take creatine? Why would you want to start doing that? Not being funny, guys, but... How's something, like I said, how's something in your pan that's produced in your pancreas going to harm you? If it's already being produced in your body, all you're doing is just upping the levels of it in your body. It's like taking whey protein. Everyone thinks that it's going to... People who never do, have never take it, took it or anything. The first thing they think is whey protein. You're gonna take it and you're gonna you're gonna get huge. You're gonna you're gonna go overboard with it. You're gonna overdose on what are you gonna do? You're gonna overdose on whey protein and get fat. Nothing's gonna happen to you. You are literally just gonna get fat. That's all that's gonna happen to you. Um, but yeah, with mine, what I like to do is recently I've been taking about five grams. But I do it in a three and a two. So what I'll do is in the mornings I'll wake up and I'll have three grams, which is if I was to give you a three gram little like showing you the example of a three gram serving. This is really fine as well, this one. Right, three grams of creatine. Is that? That's three grams of creatine. Three grams. I'll do that and then directly after my workout I would then take roughly about that much so not much more but that's how much I take um, ten, what I tend to do is in the morning if I take it I'll take it with something that will boost my insulin levels down to the fact that when your insulin levels are boost, boosted um, your, so is your um, blood pressure, uh, so basically all it's doing 
is shuttling the creatine and all the food that you take in as soon as your insulin levels are boosted shuttles it straight to the muscle as quick as it can um, that's where you'll then get your um, that's where I find that's where you'll get the most beneficial um, how can I put it that's how I can find you'll get uh, the most benefits from creatine um, I tend to take mine like how I said in the morning that but in the morning I'll take it with an energy drink so my sugar levels are boosted um, all all that um, does like I said it just boosts your insulin shuttles to the muscles quicker then after my training I'll take it not necessarily with a scoop but I'll mix it with water so I'll have about 500 milligrams um, milliliters of water mix two grams of creatine with it take all that down so I'm getting a good water intake and creatine at the same time and then after that what I'll do is I'll then take a protein source either a shake or chicken breast or generally it'll be something that's high in carbs so something high in carbs would be just pasta rice something like that just so everything in my body my muscle fibers are open everything's being shuttled to the muscles as quick as it can that's why I choose to take it at that time I think that feels as if that's going to be the most beneficial time to take it uh, also this is my protein the protein I take is this one this is just in this little tub that is my little carry tub kind of thing this is what I'll put three or four servings in and that'll do me um, like if I'm at college for a day I won't then have to worry about getting another serving of protein in because I can always just mix the serving with milk I tend to do it with milk it makes it taste a lot nicer down to the fact that my protein is actually vanilla it's actually vanilla and the reason it looks like chocolate here is because guys it tastes awful so I mix it with Nesquik and reading that the nutritional information on Nesquik alright so per 15 grams so times all these by 2 I get an extra 24 grams of vitamin C or milligrams of vitamin C I get another 0.8 grams of vitamin B6 another 2.2 .2 milligrams of vitamin D 200, uh, 500 just say 504 grams of calcium or milligrams of calcium um, just over 114 milligrams of magnesium 2.3 so 4.6 grams of iron also that's helping me get some of the vitamins, minerals and things like that in mainly vitamins because well, I, t I do sometimes take tablets um, like vitamin tablets and like vitamin tablets you've got your uh, minerals things like that but I prefer to get it in something that's actually gonna taste quite good as well instead of just taking tablets because I then feel that as I've got to keep the tablets I'm aware of this this will last me a while so with this you get so times all this by two that's 30 grams of protein per scoop of protein so add in 30, 30 grams plus 14 point so that would be 15.4 15, 15 grams of protein so it turns that 30 grams of protein into um, 45 grams of protein uh, I then get 42 grams of carbs so I don't really know the carb intake on my protein on my protein shake but getting another 42 grams of carbs um, from just this alone is a good way of get, um, getting the carbs and that shuttle to the muscles so then that will also help the um, creatine shuttle into the muscles um, so fat 8 grams of fat an added 8 grams of fat into a diet is not bad at all. I have one, two shakes, two shakes max a day. And 
eight, so 16 grams of fat, I still have an extra 14 grams for the rest of my food, for whole foods. I would never hit that. I, I don't even think I've hit it recently. Um, other than that, the fiber 1.8, sodium 1.10, um, there's no salt in it, so there's 21 grams of sugar. But to be honest with you guys, if you used to be that strict, especially in I say an off season like I am, which I kind of am, but if you used to be that strict all year round, the fact that you're going to count your sugars every day and everything, it's really not worth it. Um, uh, just last night, I ordered myself a new pair of jeans because I needed a pair actually I'm going downstairs I need to go up and grab a pair of socks so but that's the way I, I like to do my creatine my protein is normally straight after a workout so I get it in nice and early um, certain things I like to do that other people tend not to um, is diff like try different things guys if you're gonna do if you're gonna take creatine all the time and you're gonna take it at the same time every day every day you're just gonna get in a habit of doing it and as soon as it comes a, ch a time where you're not necessarily gonna get time to take in that creatine or a day when you think you're gonna go out and or if you're going out for, say, oh, say, say you just go out shopping for a day, and you need to get your two, your four or five grams of creatine in. Not being funny, but if you take them at certain times every day, that means every day you're going to have to carry around a shaker with you. You're going to have to carry that with you every day. Also. Not only are you going to have to carry the shake, you're going to have to carry the creatine. You're going to, if I was to do it the way I've done it, if I was to take it the same time every day, I take it roughly the same time. I know I take one in the morning and one after a workout. So as long as I keep them roughly three hours apart from each other, that's when I know I like to, that's how I like to do things. But I just don't see the point in trying to take it the same time every day because then you get into a routine and getting into that routine as soon as it's broken you then you're not as you're not feeling as good as you should and like if you go shopping for a day and you take it at two o'clock every day just take you take all five grams two o'clock every day what happens you get used to it the f the five grams you take at two o'clock every day you go out shopping that means you've got to take a shaker your creatine like if it was me, I'd have to take some form of some way of boosting my insulin. So I'd have to find somewhere that sold an energy drink. I literally take mine with the cheap 35p energy drinks that we have over here. That's how I do it, and that's how easy it is. The fact that if you used to get, I have um, a crate downstairs of these energy drinks, but I don't get in a habit of taking them at the same time every day. I take them roughly, or. Well, Put it this way, I take it as soon as I wake up nearly. I take it roughly half an hour after I wake up. So if I wake up at 9, I take it at roughly half 9. If I wake up at 10, I take it at roughly half 10. But I then have to, I then wait until I've trained, and after I've trained, that's when I'll then take my next one. I won't bring it forwards, I won't take it and then go. I tend to keep three hours between me taking it. So if I was to take it at 9, I wouldn't then take it until about 12. I wouldn't bring it forward if I'm at college and I'd then train. I wouldn't bring it forward, so I'd just do it whenever I can. So, that's all I'm saying about it. I'm now going to go walk my friend's dog. I'd like to stay in chat, but I got things to do, people to see, dogs to walk. Guys, don't forget, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Please follow me. Instagram. Jesse J. Bell. Do it. You. 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 Do it. Um, also, if you'd like to email me any questions you have, um, just email. I'm always open to responding to people. Alright. 
Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.